Hello viewers, and welcome back to our Let's Play of, uh, well, Transocean. I'm your host, PBG Chu, and, well, today I have a I have a short amount of time to, you know, do some more Let's Playing and all that, so I hope to make just uh, more or less a quick, say, 15 or so minute video here. And the main thing for today is that I wanted to bump up the company reputation so that we can check out some of the bigger uh, ships inside the game and to see uh, what opens up in time. Notice that, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like the uh, the contracts and all, they don't update very fast, which is rather unfortunate. And it looks like the Aphrodite here, which I know just noticed, it isn't probably going to meet that contract in time so that's rather unfortunate but um i guess we'll just have to go with it so that is pretty much that um going forwards one of the things that we might want to work on is opening up a few new ports so with that said i'm going to try to take a few of these contracts going to just uh kind of like different places despite them not necessarily being uh, as close to say areas as we as, as we would want them to if that makes any sense more or less just because um, one of the big ways that you can uh, try to expand your 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 company or your company reputation is by just grabbing just uh yeah pretty much contracts that go to new or yeah new ports and you can unlock them and as you unlock more ports you get the opportunity to do company contracts into those locations so it's quite nice so uh we'll try to do that or rather we'll try to do a bit of that and um we'll see where that takes us one of the big things is that i want to start taking a few more of those company contracts not that they uh they're honestly really that great but more so just for the benefit of it and yeah unfortunately this um this contract on the aphrodite is going to cost us quite a bit of cash uh but we can make a stop here we can drop some of the stuff down unfortunately it will lower our uh, reputation but that is the you know, risk versus reward factor for trying to you know bump up your reputation for that uh let's see yeah because i from from what I recall, the Aphrodite here could have made that trip in the uh, the designated time, all right. So I don't know why it didn't uh, coming from last episode and all, but it uh, it didn't, so it didn't. So uh, with that said, I think we'll just continue trying to unlock ports here. The thing is that uh, we sh yeah we have enough cash to to buy a few new ships and to do some stuff and one thing that i should know inside the game is that there are actually pirate attacks in this game i was trying to make a like i was trying to do a recording thing um today actually just earlier and one of the things that had happened was that one of my ships got attacked by uh, by pirates so the game will give you an option to just more or less trade the the ship for like no expenses with uh with the contracts and all on them which which is actually quite problematic because one once the ships are taken, um, for whatever reason, the people that you that that make these contracts, they're they're pretty unreasonable people because it's like, well, you know, if, if like, yeah, the ship is taken, I can't really complete the contract, so it'll just constantly bleed funds from you, and it's kind of weird like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely an odd thing, but I had to uh, like restart, you know, load from the from the closest save file because it was it was just weird like that. So, um, th yeah, that was that was kind of neat if you could consider it, uh, like, yeah, like you know, neat like that. But more importantly, I wanted to do a few more of these contracts over here, and I'm gonna wait until one um, fairly notable one pops up because those should help us out a lot on company renown and stuff like that. So uh, we'll try and see what we can do there. The main thing is that they those things are heavily tied to which port spawns them so with that said we might want to work uh, towards say something like that and wow this area produces a lot of those uh questionable goods and i guess we'll go to santos and we'll deliver some plastic there is there anything remotely close in that area there is yeah there's nothing close to that area so i guess we'll just do it more or less to unlock the new port of santos for now we already have that one unlocked so i guess we'll just do it for the sake of building reputation which has unfortunately dropped so um we'll try to bump that up back once again and i mean every trade practically helps out here so that shouldn't be too bad 
And let's see, if we fuel this craft to its entirety and bump up the speed, is that going to get to Dublin in time? Um, yes, it is. So I think we'll key that in. We'll get this ship to Dublin and we'll get it to deliver a few of those goods. So uh, there we go. Ooh, that one's actually quite a profitable contract um, delivering ore and all here. So that was quite nice. So uh, going back, I guess we'll do the, do the background too. Vancouver here and I guess we could stack up this uh, contract going from Anchorage to because these are two fairly close ports to each other so yeah I think we'll do that and we will see whether or not we can just turbo it over there so there we go so we'll get these ships to do exactly just that and the shipping continues now that we're building up a lot of cash what i think we can do is that oh there's a few new company contracts i want to take a look into them but what do we what we could do is that we could buy a few more ships now to just um yeah try to make some more cash off of it last time we already tried doing or this time i want to try and do something else so i think we'll do maybe perhaps shanghai to hong kong so we might not have uh, one with the other ports unlocked there, which might be a problem. And yeah, that's kind of the big reason why I want to unlock uh, a lot of the ports. Is just simply be able to do the the very neat, or you know, convenient company contracts located inside those areas. And let's see, there's not too much here, so I think we'll just do a cheapo feeder mission, if you will, like that. And checking out those contracts again. It's not really for the cash. It's just that I believe the uh, the amount of reputation you get for doing these contracts depend on the um, the amount of cash value in it. Because at, at this rate, I can just buy a few more feeder ships, and these ones are pretty cheap, especially like things like this one, the CV slow. Uh, later on, once we start to get into like the the coincide, like this rank right here, where we can buy Panamaxes and all that, um, these ships obviously bump up in expense. But that is way way later. So, uh, we'll check this again, see whether something valuable comes up. This one's alright, it's from um, Great Britain to, I think, one of the uh, yeah Indian ports. So, unfortunately, we don't have that one unlocked. It should stay up for some time, though. So, I mean, if we deliver stuff to, like, for example, uh, this port right here, Brazil, Santos, we might be able to find one that goes to that area, or maybe not. But if we were able to... That would have been really, really nice because that would allow us to, uh, yeah, get stuff there. Let's see what uh, ports haven't we unlocked so far because those will be important to track and to uh, to do in the future. Mostly because once you open up the globe, of course, then you can do everything. Let's get, uh, eh, yeah, let's get some postage to Shanghai. That one's probably going to be quite the important port, so we'll do that, and we'll cast off. Got the stuff to Dublin, perfect, that's an easy uh, 4 million right there. And let's see, postage to Vladivostok, so that one's also pretty easy. It's going to be very consuming on the fuel though, but I think they'll have cheap fuel there, so that's alright. Nice little cast off here as well, anything going to Anchorage? No. Nope. In that case, uh, we'll just set off, buy some fuel. Wow, Metro Vancouver is actually pretty cheap as well, I thought it would be more expensive than that, but I guess not. Um, taking a look at this once again, we have Anchorage to Japan. That one's actually pretty doable. And, ooh, the butler can... Actually, yeah, the butler can do this one. Oh, damn, just updated. Well, I was going to say the butler could do that one, but, um, yeah, these ones are actually pretty shitty company contracts. So now I think that's out of the, uh, out of the way where, you know... Out of uh, out of our grasp, we're just simply not viable. So nah, I don't think we'll do any of those. Let's see. Don't believe we have Singapore opened either, so we'll do uh, a bit of a longer journey like that. Open up that port. Is there anything close by there? Nah, not really. So I guess we'll get the the butler to do this one. And that should open up uh, a new port, hopefully. Oh. It's apparently a reef. Right now, we do have that opened. But, oh well. Right, but this one should open up Shanghai, which is nice. Let's see, fuel prices here are decent. Um, not exactly the cheapest, though, but not exactly bad. Oh, and we have one thing going to that Indian port that we didn't have open, so we'll get that one on it. And overall, I think we need Cape Town and that one for Africa. 
New set of company contracts. We have Descartes to Los Angeles. That one is for Vegetarians Incorporated. I think we might be able to do that one. I'm not really sure where the car is, but it's uh, apparently locked. This one um, for corn, I don't believe we can do that one either. From Halifax to Thayer, I think we might know. We have Quebec open. Auckland to Stockholm, that one's definitely doable, but I don't think that one's worth our time, just given the distances between the two places. So that is pretty much that. Um, but, I mean, there's no harm in doing more of these just deadline-based contracts. They're still pretty profitable, but they are not exactly, like, say, the most profitable is the thing. And this one's also one that we should be able to do fairly easily. Sydney, we'll go... And the thing is that I don't want to spend, say, too much cash just yet. More or less because I want to keep the uh, amount of ships that we have here in a manageable amount. So there... Let's see, where else can we go? We can go to Busang from here. So, or no, we can go to Melbourne too. But I think this one would be closer, so... I want to say that it's, uh... Say, slightly more profitable. So I think we'll do that. And let's see, I think we had one contract in here that was, uh... Just slightly out of our grasp, so... Oh! That's pretty much just that. I think this one might have been that contract, so I think we're still in the safe. So that's good. And let's see, is there anyone, anything over here? Ah, we can open up this port right there. So, there we go. Yeah, the map is starting to turn a lot more orange, which is very, very nice. And, ooh, would you look at that, we have enough reputation to trade medicine now, so I guess that opens up a resource on the map. So that's quite helpful. Um, we'll just continue boostering, like, yeah, bolstering our reputation, uh, I guess, for now. Uh, for now, at least. So with that said, I, yeah, I guess we'll go to, we'll try to go for Georgia ports, like that. That one's a pretty lenient contract. Though, I believe, we're no, actually, we don't have that one open. So, yeah, that'll be quite helpful. Checking out these contracts again, from this one, from Honolulu to some other port which I'm not familiar with. I'm gonna check whether or not we have that open or not though. Probably, oh actually we do. And for the other side of that, we... Oh. Should be inside this area, right? Yeah, should be. Honestly, I don't know where it is on the map. Uh, it's over here. So, ah, uh, great. In that case, yeah, all of the contracts that are nice are unfortunately not the ones that we have access to. Ooh, would you look at that? Double parcel package right there. So it's kind of difficult to just find those opportunities. But I mean, once you do, of course, they are quite nice. And let's see, ooh, this one's actually doable from Rotterdam to Italy. It's not going to be, say, the most profitable thing. But, um, you know what, we might as well do it. And with that said, I might as well spend some of the, the mad stacks that we're making. So I think I'll invest in a new ship to just quickly bounce to Rotterdam to pick up some of those parcels and we'll get that going. So there we go. Yeah, get this thing to dock, get the things to go into port. I'm gonna go into the contracts list here. And would you like that? We can do premium medicines apparently. And I believe these will actually bolster our reputation say, more than usual. Though the thing is that uh, they they apparently have a premium like value on top of them, but evidently not, right? So that's kind of weird. Either way, though, for now, I think we'll just lock in some parcel contracts. We'll try to do the bigger ones first, and then try to put as much crap on the boat as possible, just like that. And wow, that's actually a lot of parcels, so we'll get that to cast off there. How many do we need? We need... 800 units, so that'll be uh, a there and back trip, and that'll be pretty much it. Uh, what else? We have from Spain to Vladivostok. That one should be doable as well. And that one has 12 months on it, so um, we could make the investment of buying a new ship just to do that one, though actually there doesn't seem to be any big ships, so eh, I think we'll hold off on it for now. And besides, currently we have a lot of uh, transport going either way. And, oh, would you look at that? 
random events. So, uh, hopefully I'll be able to save in this menu, it doesn't look like I can. Um, the butler has dis discovered castaways close by, should we stop and rescue them, or should we sail on? Th there's bound to be another ship that will find them. Uh, I, I've yet to see this, I'll, I'll save them. I mean, honestly, on that Havana contract, we have a long amount of time. And, yeah, hopefully that'll help. And would you look at that, apparently we have such a good reputation. Um, we even get a perk from it, so we're making some progress here. And, yeah, that'll be good. Let's see, we can go to this port faster, so we'll just carry, like, a small amount of stuff. And, I mean, either way, we're making money right now, so I don't really care that our boats aren't necessarily doing the best thing. Mostly because, and I think that uh, Castaway Rescue thing did truly improve our reputation, so that's not too bad. And let's see, over here, we can transport some premium medicines. It looks like, uh, yeah, the costs for those actually aren't bad. Aren't bad at all, rather. But I think we'll just try to complete that corporate uh, contract, more or less, because I do believe we need to do one more before we can truly advance the next um, stage. So that'll be that. I think I'll put the Titanic 4 over here into... Oh, wow, actually, yeah, these are pretty damn profitable. Ooh, especially that one. Hmm. I don't know. Right now I'm thinking about putting the Titanic 4 into bay for repairs, but I mean, obviously there are cheaper ports to do that for. So I think we'll just accept this contract to go to Colombo and um, hope that the repairs there are cheaper, because I'd imagine that they are. Though that's, uh, that's, that's more or less an assumption. So that's pretty much that, yeah. Oh, let's see. For the Aphrodite, a contract is coming up. Luckily, we were able to just finish it. So that is good. And that's just going to keep floating our reputation up and up and up. So always, uh, yeah, always a good thing. And let's see, there's nothing terribly great here. So I think I'll just go to one of the ports that I don't believe we've been to. And I'll just get it to sail off. For now, we've been there before, but oh well. Do something along the lines of that. Dock in Havana, that's going to boost up our reputation even further. Go in here, check out some of the contracts. Um, lots of questionable goods. Lots of very valuable questionable goods at that. But that's not going to do a great thing for our reputation. So I think we'll just deliver posts and parcels instead. So yeah, um, that'll be that. And let's see, this one's going to come to Rotterdam. We're going to get it to dock. Gonna get it to go into port, pick up some fuel, go to the contracts listing. And now there should be another stack of parcels, so we'll load that thing up. And this should increase our reputation further by quite a bit. I'm gonna make a save game right here, name it LP3 more or less, because as soon as we uh, hit that renown, or rather I don't want to risk not meeting that renown cap and like losing it in some, some way. So, um, yeah, just make a quick save file for that. And let's see, lots of questionable and counterfeit goods coming out of here. Check up on our ship status, and wow, the port fees are still pretty damn expensive. So, not much we can do. And not many good contracts out of here as well, mind you. So let's try our luck, and I'll see what we can do in Sydney, Australia instead. So there, we'll try something like that. And oh, managed to make a stop here. Actually, the the fees everywhere are pretty expensive, so I guess they're, yeah, it makes sense. They're based upon the, uh, the size of the ship more so than anything. So in that case, we might just want to do like a, like a round of repairs on our ship, perhaps, in just a short amount of time. Oh, and would you look at that. So um, that gives us the uh, a new rank, so that's pretty cool. And now, it looks like these unlocked some, some pretty, like, high-grade goods, because I remember we did the, uh, we got the licensing for weapons, for radioactive materials, and these alcoholic beverages, which, oh, so those are, yeah, so we unlocked those, and we unlocked some new commodities to trade, so that'll be quite neat to see what those do, and uh, more or less, I mean, that allows us to buy those new ships. So, uh, with that said, I think we'll, we'll end this episode here, I'm pretty sure I've gone over my 15-minute limit. Um, but that'll be that, and let's see what we can buy. Uh, we might as well honestly just buy a big ship and use it once, just more or less because, uh, I want to see how it goes, actually. So with that said, um, 
I think we'll buy the more, or, you know what, we'll just buy the Super Speed S. It's a fully conditioned ship, so I don't have to do anything to repair it and all. And overall, it looks pretty neat. So, we'll buy it. It's going to cost us a ton. And we're going to name this the... Name this the, uh, you know what, we'll just go with a random name. We'll name it the Spectre, just because. So, now, um, with this new ship, it actually goes at a, at a start, like, it goes 18 knots just because, really. So, that's actually quite fast, for, and that's for very slow, mind you, as well. So, this is definitely our fastest ship to date. It's actually faster than the smaller ones, but it doesn't look like it scales uh, up very well, is the thing. But, um, now we get some of the, the truly premium contracts, like the ones going to Bangkok here over here. It's gonna take us only 25 days to reach this location. So, with that said, um, I'm gonna check how long it actually takes us to upgrade this ship to that, uh, improved status, if you will, with the licensing and all that. So, uh, hopefully it'll be pretty cheap. These are, oh, I see. So we can have we can have two different types. We can have a yeah, I see. So we can make a few choices between different things here. I think what we'll do is that um, we might as well buy some some different coatings of the ship here. And I think we'll buy a uh, and let's see what is this. Um, we can buy a refrigeration system, which will allow us to transport things that require refrigerated conditions like medicine, or alternatively, we can buy a freight insulation system that allows us allows the legal transportation of freight that is sensitive to swaying and impacts. Um, we haven't seen any of the other ones, so I think we'll just do uh, I think we'll just do this one, the the refrigeration system, and our ship should be ready in 16 days, apparently. At the current speed, it should be ready, or it should reach Bangkok in 25 days. At the at the slightly faster setting, it's not going to burn up all of its fuel. So I'm liking the margins on this contract, and I believe for what the ship is worth, it'll pay for it in a fairly short amount of time. So I'm going to see what we can do about um, getting that ship ready and going. And I guess in the meantime, and would you look at that, this one also requires refrigeration system. I Yeah, I guess in the meantime, we'll just continue transporting stuff from um, with these smaller ships. But I really want to see how that big ship functions. And would you look at that, it's actually, I think it's costing us an absolute ton to keep the ship, this thing in port. And, oh, this is the thing that I was um, mentioning. Yeah, pirate attacks. So, uh, we have the option of sacrificing the ship or paying the ransom. Um, I think, honestly, the ransom is more than what the ship is worth. But at the same time, um, like, some of the sometimes if you have, like, deadline contracts, you'll just constantly pay the fees for it, which is just absolutely, like, just, just beyond strange. So, yeah... Yeah, because it, what what it does is that it just locks you into like a deadline contract that you like quite literally cannot finish, and with that said, it uh, it, it effectively breaks the bank. So I don't know if that's a glitch or you know just something kind of intentional, but it's weird. And right, I think the Hamburg over here has been, or the Spectre in Hamburg has been repaired, so that's good. And would you look at that? So it's the electronics that require freight, um, freight, uh, whatever you call it isolation or insulation so that's yeah that's just that and oh would you look at that this area apparently Italy produces a lot of these things that require a whole bunch of yeah just other stuff tacked onto it um, so I guess gradually I mean yeah of course the stuff inside the game unlocks right so that is pretty much that I wonder what happens if you have like a ship that's really really low on fuel or you know just barely within range of a place and you send it off and you, um, and some random event happens to it which takes up time and I, I would imagine fuel. So yeah, I kind of want to see what happens there, I kind of don't want it at the same time. So um, let's just see though, what happens when this uh, Spectre ship arrives because this should be quite a major payday. It looks like the tug assistance on the bigger ships bumps up, so that mean, makes sense. And you know what, honestly, I want to see um, the city here, and in addition to that, I want to see uh, how the bigger ships perform, or whether or not they have some extra features attached to them, in respect to the docking mini game. So we'll just play this once, and we'll call it a day, and I know this is just going to go way, way over time. 
But, uh, yeah, it looks like it's more or less the same controls. Oh, crap, this one actually has a bridge there as well. Let's drop this down to one knot. Go around it slightly. I think on the bigger ships we get the uh, the, the side like the side propellers too, or more or less they're like water jets or something like that, which will allow you to um, to to get the ship to just you know drift slightly to the side, more or less. And oh, really like the uh, little car is just going going forwards up top as well. That is really really pretty. You got a nice lovely bridge. Although unfortunately we're on the wrong side of this bridge. So I think what I'll do is that I'll just finish it off here and I'll get the ship to pull into port because either way that's going to be a major payoff for us. And yeah, that was, well, the trip of the Spectre thing. Apparently we have a zero day contract. So wow, that must be uh, quite a fast journey, though we don't have the freight uh, thing for it though, which is rather unfortunate. What do we need to transport weapons exactly? Oh, just a license. That one would actually be really, really nice. Transport some military uh, weapons to New York. I want to see whether or not we can purchase that in a short amount of time. Yeah, I think that'll take like six days to make, so maybe that won't be worth it. But either way, I'm enjoying our new uh, Panamax ship. So, yeah. I think I'll make LP4 save, and we'll just call it a day for now.